Today we are going to talk about working as a team in InVivo. So there are two basic ways to do this. One is called InVivo for Teams. This is also known as the server version of InVivo. This is an add-on to your basic InVivo that you purchase um, or might have available through your institution. Uh, this is the only way currently for the people to work simultaneously in the same project. And the way that this works is you have InVivo installed on your computer, your project lives out on a server, and you can all access it. This is only available for Windows and requires quite a bit of technical legwork to get it set up. So it's not something that a lot of people have access to, but can be really good for really big projects or big teams that need to work simultaneously in the same project file. For most folks, you have access to what's called the standalone version of InVivo. This is normal InVivo without the server add-on. If you're collaborating in the standalone version of InVivo, I have two basic ways that I recommend that you work as a team. One I call asynchronous, and the other one I call hot potato. And I'll tell you more about what those mean. In, in essence, uh, there's a merging feature in both the Windows and Mac versions. So you can work collaboratively in either. That is at the heart of working as a team in InVivo. The challenges in working in the standalone version really become around file management. Um, so that's the thing that you need to pay careful attention to when you're collaborating in InVivo. And so again, this is available for both Windows and Mac, and it's a built-in feature that comes in InVivo that you may already have installed on your computer. The InVivo for Teams Server Edition is a little bit more technically challenging because it requires a server that's dedicated to InVivo. So if you, if this is above your head, uh, that totally makes sense. Talk to your IT people about this, if this is something of interest for you. You have to get it set up so that your InVivo connects to this server that exists elsewhere. There is a way, if you're not all located in the same place and on the same network, there is a way to set it up so you can all access the same virtual or remote machine. But again, this takes some technical expertise and doing. So it's not something that you can just have set up in your house, for instance. It's probably going to be either through your organization or institution. 